We're creating a Google form here with yes or no. This is really useful for attendees. We have our form responses, are you coming, yes or no, and your name. So we're going to go up to tools, create a new form. If you've already created a new form, you can go up to manage form, edit form, and it's going to bring up your Google form in the edit view. So we have a name here, but we want to add yes or no, are you coming? So one case, we can duplicate this question, or we can add a question. If we add a question, it's just going to ask us, what's the question? Are you coming? Once we do that, it actually suggests here, yes, no, or maybe, and a multiple choice option. So we can add all, and those are all there. But if that doesn't come up, and you want to do this manually, it'll just have this multiple choice. We have to select it from the drop-down menu. And we put an option, one yes, hit enter, no. We can add the maybe. We probably don't want it. Perhaps. Now, we don't have to save anything. Google Forms is all saved. At the very top, you can see all changes saved in Drive. If we go back to our form responses, it even has this duplicate column name. What we have to do here is unlink the form, unlink. We can even delete this page. OK. Go back to our form, go to responses. Here we do have to refresh, I do think, and click link to sheets. If you don't see this link to sheets, just refresh your form. We're gonna select an existing spreadsheet. We're gonna go back to that original spreadsheet we linked the responses to. And now we have the proper column names, timestamp name, and are you coming? There's one other way we can do this. Instead of a multiple choice question, we could have this as a checkbox. And a checkbox now, let's see how that looks. We're going to go to the version of the Google form. Checkbox, however, can have two options. We can check either one. So you may want to put some data validation here. Select at most one. And just enter a one there. Now, if we refresh our, we can only have one. And it'll say, must select at most one options. Another way we can do this is with a drop down. And this, again, has our options yes or no. And we're going to refresh our form. And now this is what it looks like, yes or no. Depends on how you want this form to look and how you want people to answer. If you want multiple choices, go ahead. If you have yes, no, maybe, or if you just have a simple checkbox to say yes or no, but you must have that response validation. Hopefully this was helpful to you. You can now use this in your forms anywhere you go. And that's how to create a form with yes or no.